everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art, and we're back today with another video. Thank you so much for being here as well. We are excited because we're going to be doing an activity as part of our Acrylic Dutch Pour and More uh, Facebook group. We have an activity that we're doing between August 16th and the 23rd, and that is to do a um, straight pour using a ribbon or you don't have to with or without a, a ribbon also with or without a paint buddy a paint buddy is someone you would find in your group in our group that could be in um australia someone could be in california and they would be paint buddies by a green what paints they're going to use what colors they're going to use what size canvas they're going to use and then they would post their paintings together they would not actually have to be in present together, be in each other's presence to paint, but they would be painting long distance. Or you could be local. So today we're using an Artist Loft 16 inch canvas along with a 16 ounce cup. Um, and we're gonna be using that to put our colors together and layering them to form the actual cup of paint that we're gonna do our straight pour on and then I'm going to do a ribbon with. So let's begin with what colors we have today and let's see where we're going to start. I believe I like to start with this beautiful Prussian blue. It is by Liquitex Basics and this is the recipe by Dan Hodges. I will list that on the description box below. It's a lot thicker than what we normally use, but I wanted to try it out for this particular um, activity. So that's Prussian blue. This is our brilliant blue. And what they have in here is a composition of the Artist, uh, uh, actually the uh, Floetrol along with Minwax and the um, all-purpose glue. So I will definitely let you know what the ratios are by sharing that in our description box. That, my friends, is the Lime Green by Liquitex Basics. And this is the Dioxamine Purple, which I just simply love this color. And it is also by Liquitex Basics. In fact, all of those four colors that we just used are Liquitex Basic, and this is my lovely Artist Loft Old Gold. So, we're going to try and bring our friends back for a second round. Our blue, Prussian blue, Brilliant blue. Lime green, I love this lime green, it's so pretty. And it's gorgeous, dioxamine purple. And on that, we have our old gold. Okay, so we have a cup full of beautiful paint, and we are going to use this color these colors to help create our beautiful straight pour with a ring. Let's take a look at that. So pretty. Okay, let's see what we can do to make that happen. Just a straight pour, meaning straight out of the cup, straight down. We can do a little jiggle to create some See that variation in the pattern, which does make it look really cool. And we need to remember, we want to put some of this on, retain some of this in the cup so that we can have it for our, our ribbon in the end. I'm going to go straight again. feeling we're getting to the end here so we better 
Okay, hold off on that. What I'm trying to do is get enough paint on the, to the canvas to make circular motions just to get a little bit out further closer to the edge before we go over and of course before we make that ribbon rich beautiful colors here I'm going to try to stay right in this area here bring it all the way around so pretty and we'll come back to the center okay guys we got it right about an inch around all the way around if you can see that we left an inch of space around almost completely around and that way we don't have we have quite a bit of paint here and we can use this to come off the edge and flow with our ribbon. Okay, now our next step is to take our torch and make effort to blow out, pop out all of these air bubbles. We have to be a little careful because we do have glue in this formula, so we don't want to get too close. We don't want to make too much of an issue out of it because some of the air bubbles will dissipate on their own. That's our ribbon and we want to try and make a design retaining as much of our ribbon where we like to have it. Now I'm going to move in a circular motion again just to really get the paint going toward the edge all the way around. If you can see that it's kind of hard to hold it in, in place and move it at the same time, moving it out toward that edge because I want to keep that and bring it back this way. In fact, you can put that down and actually turn the canvas around and go the opposite direction. Bringing this all the way around. Beautiful large ribbon here. And we can come back this way to the middle. Get that center in there. So, so pretty. Let's see if we can move this um, on off the edge here. Uh, where do we want to go first? I'll say we'll go this way. I'm moving that on off and over the edge. And back to the middle. Make certain that we have our sides completely covered. I'm simply loving our color palette here and I'm loving these gorgeous striations that have been created as a result of the ribbons that we have in there and the color selection that we've gotten. Um, and put together. Let's turn again. There's nothing wrong with turning it to get control. I want to work this side now and again I want to make sure that I'm keeping what I want on here as much as possible. And removing that that I don't care to have. Okay. I'm loving this green and purple striation so I want that I definitely want to keep that so I'm moving this back to the middle and I want to move this down a little bit more so we can get that paint over that edge at least started to go over the edge 
Yep, and a little more. Okay, and we're gonna come back to the middle. Here we have it. Now I'm liking the way this is. The ribbon has widened and it's just matching that over there. So I wanna kinda of keep that, but here's what I have. I have this section here, just that section there that I need to try to get over the edge without losing all of this. So I'm gonna move this forward, meaning to the middle. And then I'm gonna to try to go to my lower, See if I can get that down without going all the way. Up. All right, get just about there and move it back. That looks good. Did we do it? Did we get over the edge? Let's see. Uh, I think so. I'll be sure to try to work on. This is so pretty. I'm loving, loving, loving it. You can see all of these rich colors, these gorgeous striations that have resulted uh, from the ribbon. And we are making certain that we have every area covered on our sides. So I'm just taking my finger underneath and just tapping, bringing that paint up from underneath there and below it. To ensure that we have coverage all the way around. Let's make certain everything is covered underneath. We can just take a little dab of paint from under, from off the, the puppy pad to assist. Okay, I am going to take my gloves off because I am feeling pretty good about what we have here. I love this nice, smooth gold area. There's the beautiful purple with the lime green. We've got all the blend of colors on the inside, and we've got these dark striations from the ribbon, uh, from the beautiful precious blue. And then we've got this gorgeous little streak of line coming through like so. So I'm happy with that. We also want to take our Penna brand swipe tool, go around underneath, grabbing anything that we can to pull out and assist in the drying process. Make this look so nice. I love the dark, rich colors. I love the whole idea of being able to do an activity that others can participate in and they can share their talents and skills and just really enjoy having a fun activity that we do together. Okay. So with that, I'm going to bring you in with a, our close-up and you can check out the details up close as well. We do have quite a few air bubbles, which I think I will just go ahead and pop those now. Do what we can to break that up. Beautiful. All right, let's do it. Close up time. 
Here we are with the close-up, everyone. We have one studio light on, so we do have some glare, but just want you to see how beautiful this is. These striations and how well formed they are. The colors are so deep and rich, and there's a shimmer and shine to it because of the um, Artist Loft Old Gold. Look how beautiful those striations are. So pretty. Love, love, love us. Gorgeous color. The blending of colors. The striations are just so nice and well formed. Here's our centerpiece area here. It's nice and sparkly. Those beautiful rich colors. Wow. That's the lime green with the Dioxamine purple, super pretty. I'm real pleased with this one, guys. I hope you like it as well. This again is a straight pour with a ribbon. And I could add some smaller ribbons, but I'm really pleased with what I have here. If you can look at it from a large view, that's it, and it looks gorgeous. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you as always. We appreciate you joining us. See you in the next one. Bye now.